More busloads of people left Travis Air Force Base on board 140 people who have been in isolation because of the coronavirus. But some others in isolation have hit a snag. One couple from the North Bay is stuck in Texas. NBC Bay Area's Jody Hernandez joins us in Fairfield with the details. Jody. Raj, the cruise ship evacuees have been waiting and planning for this day. And while the folks who are being held here at Travis Air Force Base are happy to be heading home, the folks in the other group in Texas have been told they can't yet leave. We've never had a temperature, a fever, a sore throat. We just followed the advice and the rules. Leilani Isa is thrilled to finally be out of quarantine and heading home to Hawaii. Isa and 139 other former Princess Cruise passengers had been quarantined at Travis Air Force Base for the past 14 days. The CDC gave them the all clear and bust everyone off base today. I feel great, very thankful um, that uh, we're able to survive the whole challenges. But 122 others who've been quarantined at Lackland Air Force Base in Texas aren't so lucky. Rick Saber of Novato says he and his wife were packed and ready to leave when things hit a major snag. My take is that they want to keep us here for several more tests before they consider us viable to get out into our communities. The mayor of San Antonio issued an emergency declaration forbidding any formerly quarantined people from the base from entering the city. That after a patient was released by the CDC on Saturday only to get a positive test result back later. And we simply cannot have a screw up like this from our federal partners. We're caught up on this roller coaster and until it stops, we have no idea what the next day is gonna bring. But the folks allowed to leave Travis are grateful and looking forward to some normalcy. So we've never been on a military base overnight and they have bugles in the morning to wake you up and then they come and test your temperature right away. I think I'll sleep past seven in the morning tomorrow. <laughs> Good for her. Now, Rick Saber of Novato says people in his group are so upset. Some are talking about filing a class action lawsuit for illegal confinement. At this point, they don't have any idea when they'll be able to go home. Reporting live in Fairfield, I'm Jody Hernandez, NBC Bay Area News.